back to the channel. You already know it's your boy Ice, man. Hopefully everybody having a good day today. And if you're not, you already know what I'm about to say. Go ahead and brush that negative mess off your shoulder. And let's on today. Alright. Before I get into my vlog though, I wanted to see if I could ask all my viewers if you could be so kind as to hit that notification bell and that subscribe button so that way you can not only show support by viewing but show support by subscribing and show some support by staying in tune on when i'm dropping content on here right now putting up to the car wash my car is filthy dirty and i don't play all that so We about to wash this car right quick. Okay, so I'm back at the crib. Car is finally clean. I'm gonna go ahead and get this camera set up so we can finish this vlog out. Before I do so, there's two things I wanted to cover really quick. First thing is I wanted to thank all my subscribers for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. Whether the information is helping you or not, or if you're just here to support little O'Shea Shea, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, really appreciate the support my channel is growing very slowly in probably majority part because i'm not as consistent as i would like to be i'm not gonna sit here and make any excuses i mean i do work a full-time job i do music production outside of this and i'm also starting a clothing line so i do have a lot going on i don't have a team right now it's me myself and i so all three of us are the only ones managing this and realistically that's just me so um, it's a little bit hard and that's why I haven't been as consistent, but whenever I do get an opportunity to make these vlogs, I will try my best to do two or three vlogs a day if possible, um, or two or three vlogs a week, however, to try to make up for the weeks that I am absent. Number two, this vlog is a vlog that I did prepare, so I do have some jotted down information, therefore I will be reading from my phone. What that means is I will not be making total eye contact throughout the duration of this vlog. And I wanted to make sure I set that expectation from now. So that way during the vlog, you're not wondering why she is not making eye contact. So I wanted to kind of put it out there right now in preparation. Now, if y'all ready, let's get this thing started. Okay. got everything set up um and i've got my material ready so let's dive in all right so <clears throat> we all know that living with depression is really hard and i've been living with depression for so long that you know i feel like i've gone through all the different um symptoms um and even just getting out of bed sometimes presents itself as an issue um, it's really hard waking up in the mornings and trying to just roll out of bed and start your day. And even to the point where you start to question how everybody else does it, you know, how it's just so easy for people to just wake up and just roll out of bed and go through their day. Um, so hopefully I can, uh, give you these five steps 
that may um help you get out of bed uh <clears throat> in the mornings and understanding how depression can feel like you know five thousand tons holding you down and as much as your mind is telling you to get up or you're telling yourself to get up your body just won't move your arms your legs everything just feel like it's heavier than normal and you can't lift a muscle at all so hopefully these five steps will help you out so the idea of all of this is to create a routine that you feel like you're excited to wake up for. I uh, feel like you're, it's, it's worth you waking up for. Um, and understand that doing this is going to take some time. Um, if you're going through depression or experiencing any kind of depressive episodes, bipolar disorder, so on and so forth, uh, you will realize that trying to build a routine, especially one that you enjoy, understanding that dealing with depression, you don't really enjoy much of anything. Um, you'll find that you'll take some time before you get to that one thing or that two things that, you know, kind of still make you feel like it's worth you doing something. So let's jump in. Uh, number one, start slow. Don't want to try to rush anything as hard as it is all by itself. Um, so you definitely want to just start slow. First thing you want to try to do is sit up. Whether you want to get some pillows or, you know, something to prop yourself up, try to sit up um, in a bed. And that in itself will start to make you feel like you want to get out of bed. Um, even if you just sit up there for a couple of minutes or whatever, trying to, you know, convince your body to move out of the bed, that is one thing that you should try. Um, it's definitely just... Just sit up. That's all it is. Um, start thinking of food. You know, start thinking of what am I going to eat for breakfast. Um, and if it's late in the afternoon, you start thinking about what, what you're going to eat for lunch. Um, just getting in that thought starts to get your body to feel like, oh, well, I need to start getting up to do stuff. If I need to go eat, I need to go do this, then I need to, um, you know, get up out of bed. So you definitely want to start to process the thought of, you know, <clears throat> What is it that you're going to eat? Um, it doesn't always work, especially if you're experiencing a loss of appetite. Um, but still know that eating is something, um, eating something in the morning, even if it's just a slice of bread, you know, it'll help you get up. It doesn't have to be a big meal. I mean, you don't have to go with, you know, grits and eggs or whatever. I mean, it could be a little fruit, you know, eat a banana um, eat an apple, drink a glass of orange juice, a glass of milk, a glass of water. Um, you know, just try to entertain some form of food into your body in the morning and process that thought from you do step one of trying to sit up and you start thinking about what you're going to eat, whether it's that slice of bread or it's that apple or it's that banana or it's, you know, whatever it is, you start processing that. <clears throat> Number three. Uh, don't disregard the classics. Try to, you know, set alarm still. Um, you know, set two, three, four alarms to try to force you um, to get up. Find whatever is the most annoying sound. Whatever you think will make you get up. Like for me, um, I forgot what, I think it's called Alarmy, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's the app where... You literally have to get out. You take a picture of something where you have to get up out of bed. So for me, what I did was took a picture of my uh, bathroom sink. So I have to get up to take a picture of that. There's nothing else I can do. I can't press stop. I can't press off. I literally have to get up, walk into the bathroom, take a picture of my bathroom sink in order for the alarm to stop. What that forces me to do is get up out of bed to turn this annoying thing off. It's an iPhone. It's not like I go in there and take the battery out. I mean, I don't think there's any phones now that you really go in the back and take the battery out. So that can't be done. So the only way for me to disarm it is for me to get up, go to the sink, take a picture. By the time I'm already up out of the bed, I'm in front of the sink. The next thing I'm going to want to do is brush my teeth, wash my face. By the time I do that, I'm fully awake. So 
try something like that and see how it helps. Um, but definitely go to doing, you know, some alarms, do a couple of them. Don't you want to start doing that to get yourself disciplined to the point where you can only do one or two alarms and know that you're going to get up for sure. Um, if you're just starting to deal with the whole depression thing, I mean, you're probably going to need like four or five alarms if you're anything like me. So try that until you get into the, the routine. And again, it's going to take some time for you to build that routine. Number four, focus on what's around you. Papers and pens may seem old fashioned, but the effect they have definitely isn't. Consider write, writing something down. Um, for example, you want to write something like affirmations, positive affirmations in the morning. Um, serenity prayer is one thing that, you know, I always say is really good to start off with. I mean, if you think about the serenity prayer, you know, God grant me the serenity. Okay, right now, I don't remember what it is, the words of it exactly. But if you think about the, the words, if you go Google it, um, it pretty much, it's, it's self-explanatory. It's self -explanatory. If it's things that's out of your control, there's nothing you can do about it. You got to learn to let it go. And if it's whatever it is, you have to accept it. You know, and like I've said in my previous vlog, where... You know, everyone wants to tell you that, oh, you need to be positive, you need to be positive. There are times that you just have to accept life as it is. And if it's a bad day, those happen. So, you know, the more you start to accept these things, the easier life becomes. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, write down positive affirmations. Um, or you could even write down whatever you're grateful for. If you want to write it down the day before, like the night before you go to bed, you write down whatever you're grateful for, whether it's life, it's food, a roof over your head, clothes on your back, your friends, your family, whatever it may be. Write it down when you wake up in the morning, you know, you get up, you sit up in your bed, you start thinking about your food, you can reach for your notepad, you can just read the things that you're grateful for. It kind of reiterates, you know, all of that and makes you bring back the positive. And last but not least, number five, don't rush yourself to get up and get ready and take all the pleasure out of the morning. Slow it down. Take your time. Uh, if you know you have to go to work by 10 and your commute is 20 minutes, I would say get up where you have at least maybe an hour and a half. You know, if it takes you an hour to get ready, that way you have an extra half an hour just to sit there. Now, if you feel like you need more than a half an hour, then you probably want to get up a little bit earlier. But try to gauge it based on how you think it is, how bad you think is it, it is. Um, and just try to, you know, base it off of that. It's kind of a trial and everything until you get to the point where you'll find what works for you. Um, I'm still finding what works for me. Uh, I don't do any specific thing on a routine like some people, you know, like going to the movies or some people like playing pool, some people like going swimming, whatever it is. Like everyone has a thing that they enjoy. Um, for the press people, for me, it isn't just one specific thing. For me, it's it's just trying things to, to keep my mind occupied so I'm not always drowned in negative thoughts. Um, so it's never really the same things. I, I can't really say I end up doing the same things repeatedly because right now I'm not really finding the joy in doing things the way I used to. So, you know... Me making music, I haven't even making beats the way I used to. Um, and it's not that I've lost interest in music. I always love music because even now, I probably play music now more than I used to um, because it helps me to express myself so much better. Um, but <clears throat> just take time with it. Don't rush it. Understand that it's a process. Um... I understand that it's going to take time, it's going to get better, but you have to believe that it's going to get better, and you can't fake it. 
it has to be real that belief has to be real and it will get better i mean for me it was never like this i could never be up and smile and be about and run around and go places and talk to people and hang out with friends it was no such thing you know i was always in the house um isolated shut shut away from everybody and now i'm a little bit more open i go out a little bit more you know things are getting they're getting a little bit better it's it's step by step it's a process so you know try to utilize those five steps see how well they help you out um and just understand that it's gonna get better one thing other thing that i do also is um i have a bible app on my phone and there's a way that I can set it up um, to have a verse sent to me every day. Um, or if I want to finish the Bible in a year, there's different options on there. Um, but every day I get a Bible verse. And just sometimes it's, it's man, it's, I tell you, it's, it's crazy how God works. They say God works in mysterious ways and he does. Um you know, there's a lot of times that there are days that I really need, you know, sometimes you go on social media, you see that one post and you just like, man, I really need to see that. You know, is sometimes I get those Bible verses like on cue and I needed those specific words, those reminders. And, you know, it's, I would encourage you to try that as well. Um, there is an app out there called Calm. It plays natural sounds. Um, very relaxing it helps you to just relax focus on that just take a moment away you know from everything and and sometimes you just need just that one minute to breathe that one minute to just get away from everything you know sometimes you just need that five ten minutes whatever it is sometimes you need a moment to escape sometimes you can't get up and leave where you are maybe at work and things are kind of getting tough and you can't really get up and leave work because you're at work but you could probably go in the in the bathroom for like a minute or whatever and just get a moment or go out to your car and get a moment just to be away and just to breathe and just listen to some relaxing sounds and just to calm yourself down and get back to a place of <clears throat> serenity. But depression is not easy. <laughs> it's 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 not easy at all. Um you know, it might not be HIV, it might not be cancer, you know, it might not be cystic fibrosis. And a lot of people think that, oh, you know, it's not comparable. And it's not because you can't compare any of those drugs to each other, uh, those diseases are to each other. Um, because the experiences of dealing with one versus the other is totally different. Yes, you probably end up being medicated and doing a lot of tests and going back and forth, but the experience is completely different. And it's the same thing with depression. Um, it's just as severe. Uh, it can take your life. Um, and it can be contagious, uh, which is, is another vlog that I need to make and explain that to you guys. But yes, depression can be contagious. It can be and it can't be. Um, it's, it's not contagious like a flu, um, but it can be contagious. Think about it. When someone sad or angry walks into a room, it's almost like that vibe just passes to everybody else, doesn't it? We'll get more in depth than that. Anyways, I appreciate y'all for taking the time out to watch this video. Definitely smash that like button. If you like the contents of the video, share. If you feel like you can help someone with something that's in this video, um, you never know. A lot of people walking around smiling just the way I am, looking like a normal person just like me, and you never know what they're going through. Um, depression is not something that's visible, that you can just look at a person and, and tell. Um, there's a lot of people around us that just, they look okay, you know, and sometimes they don't know. Um, but just be aware. Um, and share, <clears throat> you know, be nice to people. Um, definitely subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hit the notification bell so you can stay in tune on when I'm dropping content on here. I appreciate y'all for rocking with the kid. Love the support. I know I'm not 
a big YouTuber at the moment. I don't have, I don't even have more than 55, I don't even have more than 30 followers right now, subscribers right now. But I'm grateful for the subscribers that I do have, and I thank you guys for rocking with me. I appreciate y'all.